Hey guys, Carly here with We Print Wraps, and I'm going to show you how to get started with vehicle templates and wrap designs. All right, so here we go. Um, I already have a template open on my screen. Um, right now, the template is only at a 120 scale. Um, personally, I like to design in a 10% scale, so I'm going to go ahead and scale this up. And to do that, um, you have to select everything, and I'm going to go to Object, Transform, Scale, and I'm going to go ahead and type, well, it's already in there, 200% and hit OK. And now everything's scaled up. And the reason I like to design in a 10% scale, because I feel like it's just easier um, when it comes to measurements and um, seeing what size to make things. Like, for example, if you take this rectangle and you draw a rectangle on the side of the van, and I'm like, oh, I wonder how big that is actually at full scale. Um, so right now I'm going to go up to the measurements, and it's saying 4.4 and 4.1 and that's actually to get the full scale you're just going to move the decimal point one time so you can um, see so you know what size it is actually so it's going to be 44 by 41.4 so if the customer said oh I want a 24 inch by 24 inch logo on the side of the van I'm going to go ahead and take this rectangle I'm going to go up to my width and height I'm going to go 2.4 and by 2.4 and now that's what a 24 inch by 24 inch rectangle would look like on the side of the van all right so anyways let's delete that i'm going to go ahead and zoom out so we can see the whole uh the van and the artwork i'm going to go ahead and delete all this text i don't need it if you like to keep it on there that's a personal opinion it's up to you um maybe you want to show your customer the measurements of the vehicle to make sure you have the right van um, that's totally fine. So I'm going to go ahead and delete all this text. So then um, next I like to get started with my layers so I can keep everything organized when I'm designing. So I'm going to go over here to the bottom right corner and I'm going to go ahead and lay, layer, uh, label this layer um, template so I know which one is my template layer. And then I'm going to go create a new layer and I want a um, background layer and then I want another layer that's for text and logos so that's kind of what I start off with if I need more I'll add them layer but uh, later but right now this is all I need so I'm gonna go ahead and I want my template layer on the top layer that's most important so that when you're designing everything else is below the template layer so you can make sure that none of your artwork main text logos important things on the vehicle wrap don't get stuck behind a door handle um, emblem, license plate, um, just so you know where you're placing everything. So I'm going to go ahead and um, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to uh, my direct selection tool over here and I'm going to change it to group selection tool. And the difference between this is that when you use the group selection tool and you click on something, it selects the whole group of points. So you can see I just moved that, selected everything. As opposed to the direct selection tool, when I take it and I click on one point, I can take that point and drag it to wherever I want. But that's not what I want. So I'm going to go ahead and do group selection. And I'm going to select all these white backgrounds because I want them to be on the background layer. So I'm going to go ahead and select the hood, the roof, the sides, the front, and the back. And now you can see that they're all selected because you can see the uh, group of points around it. And I'm going to go ahead and hit go to edit, copy. And now on my template layer, I'm going to go and turn this white background. Um, I'm going to go over here to the fill and change it to none. So now we can see behind the template and what we're working with. And I'm going to go ahead and lock the template layer. And remember that I did copy. Um, the the white background on the template layer so now i'm going to go to background layer and i'm going to go to edit paste in place so whenever you copy something and you want it to paste exactly where you got it from you're going to go to paste in place and now that white background is right behind uh where it was before so um, this allows you to go and change the background of the van to anything you want so right now I'm just going to keep it green. I'm actually going to, it's not going to stay green. I just want this to be my clipping mask layer for the background. Um, but I'm just going to keep it green right now so it stands out. And then I'm going to go ahead and put an artboard behind this so everything will have a white background once it's moved. All right, so I've already kind of figured out what I wanted to use for the background on this wrap. So I'm going to go ahead and go to my other file. Here's something that kind of created and I'm going to go ahead and paste it 
Um, I'm going to lock my template layer and my text and logos layer since I'm only working on my background layer right now. And I'm going to paste it into the background layer. Okay, so I'm going to kind of drag this artwork where I want it on the van. Looks good right there. But now I have a green background that I don't want and all this extra print around the vehicle that doesn't need to be there when I'm showing the proof. So I'm going to go ahead and select the artwork that I just dragged in and I'm going to go to um, I'm going to right click and I'm going to go to arrange send to back because I want that on the bottom layer right now. So I sent it to back and now you see my green outline or green background of the vehicle. And I'm going to make this into a clipping mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select um, the vehicle outline as you can see it goes all the way around the van and I want all my artwork to fit in there and I'm going to select the artwork behind it and I'm going to go um, right click or you can go to object clipping mask make boom there it is and now it all fits inside the boundaries of the vehicle and now it's starting to look more like a vehicle wrap design um, so right now I'm going to go ahead and lock my background layer since I'm I kind of figured that out and I'm done with that and I'm going to go to my te text and logos layer and unlock that and I'm going to go and grab our Lead Print Wraps logo and I'm going to copy control C and now paste control V into our text and logos layer and now I can place it where I want and the reason it's uh, it's good to keep your background se separated is because when you're designing on your text and logos layer you know you might want to add a phone number or website and you can hit control A and it's going to select everything on that layer, but it's not going to select your background and then you can move it to wherever you want. Or if you're clicking down and selecting something, you're not clicking the background. Like, so see when I unlock the background layer and I'm trying to just grab maybe my logo and I select and now it's select both and I don't want to. So, um, that's all. That's about it. That's how you get started with designing a vehicle wrap. Um, I would, it's, it's going to take me a while to work uh, the rest of this design out. I just kind of wanted to show you the basics. Just some notes for moving forward is, you know, when I go into designing the back, I'm going to want this blue um, to fall around the back so that we have flow in the vehicle. So um, I would um, copy and paste this artwork probably, and I'm going to go ahead and um, right-click Release Clipping Mask. And I'm going to um, release clipping mask again since all this artwork was in a clipping mask. I'm going to delete everything. And I want this design to move towards the back. So I'm going to maybe drag this polka dot um, blue design over here. And I'm going to maybe t adjust it and turn it. So maybe that it fits the vehicle a little better. So it flows around the wrap. And maybe enhance the size a little bit. And then I'm going to right click. Um, transform or arrange send it back and then I'm gonna go ahead again and select both the green um, vehicle boundary and then the, um, the art behind it and I'm gonna right click make clipping mask and there we go so now this designs looking like it's starting to flow because it goes from blue polka dots um, around the back bottom corner to around the back and maybe I wanted you know to bring some pink up there so I take the direct selection tool and just grab this pink um, and hit control C and then I'm gonna go over here and hit control V and paste it um, see now it's not in the clipping mask so another note you might want to do so you have to now select the artwork that's in the clipping mask and hit um, right click release clipping mask and then I'm gonna take this pink and it needs to be behind um, the clipping mask in order to make the clip so I'm going to go right click or trans or arrange send it back so now this pink is behind the blue and the clipping mask and I can select it all right click make clipping mask and there we go so that's just kind of the basics on how you get started on designing a vehicle wrap on a template um, I just wanted to show you guys because I have a lot of people asking questions and I think it's uh, something that everyone needs to learn a little more about and I'm also going to get into how to act, actually panel this out once I get it all designed. So stay tuned for my next tutorial.